Stage one, does that lift off pressures? 15. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. GC copies, we'll go. T plus one minute and 17 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 approaching Max Q. You've heard the call out, MVAC D chilling. We're now getting the second stage engine ready for ignition. Several activities coming up here very shortly. At T plus two minutes and 24 seconds, we expect main engine cutoff, followed immediately by stage separation and ignition of the upper stage engine. Right after that, the first stage will begin the first of three burns to return us back to the Pacific Ocean to the drone ship parked offshore about 300 kilometers downrange. Coming up on Miko. We have Miko. We have that recognition. T plus two Good minutes separate. and forty seven seconds into flight. We've had successful stage separation and ignition of the upper stage engine. And as you can see, we've also relit three of the engines on the first stage to begin the sequence that will return it to the drone ship in the Pacific Ocean. Boost back burn lasts about 30 seconds. And we have fairing separation. Had a brief view of the Iridium satellites as the fairing separated. Again, it's just before dawn as we head south over the Pacific Ocean, so we're not getting any sunlight. First stage boost back burn did complete. Fairing did successfully separate. We're waiting to hear the drone ship AOS, that's acquisition of signal. That indicates the drone ship is receiving telemetry from the first stage. Second stage propulsion continues to look nominal, coming up at T plus four minutes into flight.
T plus five minutes into the flight of Falcon 9 carrying 10 Iridium Next satellites. Next event in our timeline is in about 35 seconds. That'll be a second ignition of the Falcon 9 first stage, what we call the entry burn. This is a burn of three Merlin 1D engines that'll slow us down for the actual re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. The burn itself will last about 13 seconds. Meanwhile, second stage, performance continues to look good. The trajectory is good. Engine parameters look good. Stage one entry startup. And you see the flare on the screen? We have startup. It looks like all three engines are up and running. Also, you can see silhouetted the grid fins did deploy earlier. They'll now be used to guide us as we enter the Earth's atmosphere. And we've had shutdown of the entry burn. Stage one, AFTS has hooked. The autom automated flight termination system, autonomous flight termination system has saved on the first stage. We're coming up on T plus seven minutes. Stage one is headed back to the drone ship in the Pacific Ocean. Stage two still headed to its initial parking orbit. Shutdown of the second stage engine should be just over T plus nine minutes into the flight. Away. Now we're getting ready for the landing burn of the first stage. Landing burn start. Stage one landing successful. Delta Atlas. Seven and a half minutes into flight. You can hear from the applause. We lost the signal briefly, then it returned with the view of the first stage in that pre-dawn darkness sitting on top of just read the instructions. Out in the Pacific Ocean, a successful landing of the first stage. Meanwhile, the primary mission continuing, the second stage seven minutes and 54 seconds into flight a little more than a minute left to go propulsion continues to look good on the second stage engine as we power to the low earth parking orbit carrying the 10 iridium next satellites Elciane, uh, zooming in on this fire here. Stage two, AFTS has saved. T plus eight minutes and 38 seconds into flight. We've heard the autonomous flight termination system has been saved on the second stage call. Second stage just about to go into Earth orbit. Call out of Seco. Second stage engine cutoff. We're waiting right now for a call out from Guidance Nav and Control. They're looking at the orbit of the second stage. Right now it looks at the uh, telemetry we're getting. It looks like we've got a good orbit. This is the parking orbit of the second stage. This is the first of two orbits we're headed to today. Looks like we've got a good one here. What's going to happen now is we're entering a coast phase. You might have heard coast phase entry call out just a moment ago. We're going to coast about halfway around the Earth, passing over the Antarctic Peninsula, come up over Africa. We'll relight the second stage engine very briefly, 
That'll get us into the final orbit from which we'll deploy the 10 Iridium Next satellites. All of that's going to happen at about T plus 52 minutes. So right now, we're just past T plus 10 minutes into flight. We've had a good first stage landing after a great countdown and a liftoff. Second stage performance looked very good getting into low Earth orbit. And so we're now going to go through about a 41 minute coast period. So we're going to leave you an animation showing where the second stage of the Falcon 9 is as we're passing over various features on the Earth. We will resume live coverage of the upper stage mission and the separation of the Iridium-X satellites.